Welcome to The Cook's Pantry. Today I'm joined by Calm from MasterChef 2018, who's a red hot favourite. Thank you for coming in, mate. Thank you for having so me. So good anytime. to see you. So today I'm going to show you how to make shaking beef, which is one of my family favourites. I like the sound of it. Mate, I know if I went to a restaurant and saw shaking beef, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a part of that. Yeah, it's pretty what, fun. What is it? You said it's a family favourite. What's, how does it come together? It's a really simple dish. So we just dice up some of the scotch fillet. Yeah. We use scotch because it's um, higher in fat. So you need that, because you're cutting up pretty fine. You don't want yep. it to be too dry. Yeah, cool. So I'm just going to dice that up for you now. Quite large chunks. It's going to be the same size as um, capsicum that we're throwing in a bit later. Okay, beautiful. So it's a, it's it, like I, I love when I look on the bench here and I see, you know, just a handful of ingredients. Yeah. So you've got maybe half a dozen things here. Yeah. Um, what? So you, you're going to marinate this? Yeah. So the, um, you're chopping up the beef to um, marinate. You just yep. do it for about half an hour. Yeah. Um, you leave it sitting out. You don't have to put it into a, a fridge because you want it to get to room temperature. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, like, do not be afraid of that at all. Like, oh, we try to reinforce that point so often. People go, oh, and no, I can't have it out of the fridge. It's like, yeah. That's that's where it needs to be. Yeah. It needs to come to room temperature. Also, it just won't cook evenly. Beautiful. So that's like the same size as the capsicum. Yep. Nice little dice up there. And then we've got um, the garlic, which I'm going to mince, just two cloves. Sweet. So this is a family favourite. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just so quick, it's really easy and it's full of flavour. So we have it all the time. And what, so what, do you know why it's called shaking beef? It's called shaking beef because you shake the pan, so the pan's really <laughs> hot, and you shake the pan so that it doesn't um, burn on one side. Right, so you just like, just constantly You're moving constantly it through the pan. Constantly moving it, like so, you have to cut it up pretty small because this. you don't want to be doing that for too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't All be right. shaking whole sirloins. <laughs> Don't go there. So next up, we've got the oyster sauce. So I've got about three tablespoons here. Yeah. So is it is Vietnamese dish? It's a Vietnamese dish. It's a Vietnamese dish. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Well, it could be from somewhere else, but we make it at home. So Claim it. I'm pretty Claim sure it's That's right. It's Vietnamese. Um, and then two <laughs> tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. So yep. that's about two. Oil. You're gonna okay. go pretty heavy on this, so maybe four. So you go, so does the oil go in the pan? No, it just go. Yeah, it okay, goes straight nice. onto the beef. Nice. Yeah. And then about a tablespoon of sugar. So I reckon that will do. That's about right. You get your hand just sturdy. So straight in. Yep. Mix it up. And then once it's all beautifully coated, you kind of set it aside for 30 minutes or so. Yep. So we've got diced capsicum. Yep. Um, some watercress. Yep. Beautiful watercress. What are these couple of numbers here? So this is just kind of a pickle, but not really. It's yep. spa about one part sugar to two parts vinegar. Yep. And this is sliced onions right in. You don't have to heat it up or anything. You okay. just let it soak for like Beautiful. about an hour. Yep. You can put it in the fridge overnight if you want to, to get more flavor out of it. But it really gets um, the bitterness of the onion. The, right? Yeah, yeah, the yep. onion-y, yeah. And then what's this little one? So this is a dipping sauce. This is just um, equal parts salt, pepper, and enough lemon juice to yeah, cover the whole thing. Nice and sour. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. All right, so, so it's done. Set that aside. Give it a little bit to evolve, and then we'll we'll come back to uh, start shaking. Beef's been marinating. Pan is now smoking. Yep. We're gonna go in with a bit of oil. Yep. And then and then microplane a big clove of garlic into there for me. All that would right. be amazing. So you're gonna chuck the beef in. Yep. All right. So we're going about what, half that. Half of it. You want to do it in batches. You don't want to overload the pan. Am I shaking the whole time? Yeah, you're shaking. <laughs> Not the whole time, because it's obviously from baking. <laughs> and you don't want to burn off your eyebrows, do you? Jesus! It. It's alright, it's just the oil. That's looking really good. That looks alright. Alright, keep going. Keep going. You got muscles for a reason, right? Why do I stand right? on this side? <laughs> Why do I stand on this side? So all just right. keep going. Yeah, so while you're doing that though, I'm going to get onto the greens. Keep shaking. Yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> Uh -huh. I was going to say, I've picked the heaviest pan <laughs> we've got in the building. It's like a 10 kilo dumbbell. All right, so basically with the green, all I'm doing is cleaning up some of this watercress. I've got about a bunch and a half here. Yep. That goes directly underneath. You just need some greens there, you know, as a little base for the beef itself. So beef's going to go straight over the top? Yeah, straight over the nice. top. It'll wilt it a little bit, but that's all right. A tomato. Going to slice it in half and then thinly slice it from there. So really thin on the tomato. Really thin on the tomato. Straight on. So I, I reckon, reckon that can come right off. I reckon we're getting there. Yeah, you happy with that? Yeah, I am. So just straight just on. Straight over. Straight over it. Awesome. And are we going again? Yeah, let's go again. All right. 
Bay Finn. Bay Finn. Flame. Flame. Oh, oh, oh. There, there it is. we go. There we go. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll take the bullet on this. Keep going. Is your arm sore? No. <laughs> I'll never admit it. <laughs> I reckon we're about 30 seconds away from it being done. Yep. Um, in goes the capsicum in the second lot. Okay, beautiful. Just keep shaking that as well. So we're just gonna like warm this through. Yeah. Pretty much. Basically. So you still want the structure of the capsicum? Of course, yeah. yeah. So you get that nice texture, a little bit of a crunch. You need to work so out. So good. You need to go ah. for a workout. Can I? Yeah, give it a go. Oh, yeah. Good. That's looking pretty good, so I think you can go straight on top. Done? Too. Yep. Right. Straight over the top. Straight over the top. That's basically it. It's done. It's... That is a feast. Yeah, mum's shaking a beef. Feast. Absolutely love it. So we've got the pickled red onions. Yep. So that just goes... Over the top? Right over the top. That so good. Sharp. And then you just dip it into the salt and pepper and lemon dipping sauce. Beautiful. So you pick up a little piece, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Yep. Dip it in there. Join you. Well, that little lemon pepper number. Mm. Absolute winner. The next time you think of having a boring old stir fry, head towards the shaking beef made by this man. It is an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you in the kitchen. I can't wait to see what you do next.